Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? I'm having an amazing time. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself Aww. those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, yeah. long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Aww. Anyway. Uh, I'd like some food. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I want a horrible hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. Ugh. There's going to be so much oh. vomit in that alley. <sighs> I feel better now. Okay, now that the hot dogs are gone, the flies are gone too. Hmm. Huh. Welcome to the S&D Diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Cool. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. What? Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket, just in case. Here you go, hon. Uh... Doesn't look as bad as the hot dog, but looks can be deceiving. Welcome to the S&D Can, &D can I get more food? What can I do for you, Dolores? Let's see. I'd like, I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Cherry pie? I'll have the cherry pie. Sorry, some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. Oh. Oh, um, I'd like, I'd like some, to food. Order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Can I have a salad? I'll have a salad. We're out of salad. Oh, I'm not I hungry. I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Well, now I have a burger. And I still have that <laughs> moldy timbleberry pie. I guess she hasn't eaten it in however long this has been. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find yeah. anything? This to the plant? I might be dying of starvation later. Give this to the plant? I'd better hold on to this until later. This to the plant? You can give that to the plant? I'm here to serve. Hmm, it looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger though. Oh. It's burping. Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was hmm. a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. <laughs> um. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm what? keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. No, you right. won't. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. <laughs> He's doing what you say you're doing. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. Hmm. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. Uh, that's not what... That's not how he was, though. That's, such, that's just stuff he had. Well, except for babes, those are people, but... My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. 
There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. <laughs> Not really. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barftastic. <laughs> I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. Oh yeah, I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny, I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. Okay. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. But I, I gave the... Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? <laughs> it's burping. Okay, I can't talk it. Can I pick it up? Better leave it be. Okay. Let's see. Movie Tron. He said the arcade. Is it open now? Because I don't remember visiting the arcade. I know I've seen it. I think it's on this street. Uh, Ricky's Cakes. The arcade, there. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Oh. Well, it's still locked. Okay. So wait, what what do I need to do now? Get the lawyer. Where can I get a lawyer? Wait, maybe I can find one in the phone book. Would that be in the L section? Hmm. Well, I'd need to know his name, I guess. Well, his or hers, I don't know. I just need to know the lawyer's name. Let's see. Did she mention his name? Get lawyer. Ah, I don't think I've met the lawyer. Hello? Anyway. I think I need to fix her family stuff before they can get on with the murder solving, so... Faster! Okay. Uh... Factory, hotel... There. Uh, you shouldn't be digging inside. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tiny. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Stop ah, telling him that. Stop pretending that he's doing a good job. He's destroying your house. Digging! Okay, so I need to talk to the sister. Apparently. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Chucky alone. Chucky? Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Oh, come on. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. <laughs> Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I'm having a feeling that it won't be the case. 
Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle hmm. Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. Yeah, she's so worried about her father. That's so great. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No, he's no just a doubt brat. picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. Hmm. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. Okay. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you know what? A game developer? Oh shh. Sh sh. Do you want the whole house to hear? <laughs> Come on. Is my career really that shameful? Oh hell yes, sweetie. I mean you're then a whore, you so I do instead. Don't really get to tell her. Or just tell people you went to rehab. What? It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. What the fuck? For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. <laughs> I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Peter doesn't want to talk to you. Whatever.